Are you trying to figure out how to put the sauce in the songs that you're playing? Let me show you how. Hi, I'm Carrie Too Smooth. If you're brand new to this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I'm dropping a new video. I don't want you to miss out. As a rule of thumb, I tell all of the people that are watching these videos to watch them all the way through. Make some mental notes or you can jot some things down, then go back and rewatch the video because I drop a lot of nuggets in these videos and I would hate for you to miss anything. So with that being said, let's jump right in. Are you playing a song and you're always trying to figure out how can I, how can I drop the sauce? How can I do the ear king? I want to have that swag whenever I play. And not necessarily mean like you trying to your showmanship, but the ear candy that, how do I give that stuff? So I'm going to show you today how you can take a, not even a simple progression. I'm going to show you how you can take a progression. You can play it in one position, but we're going to play it in another position to add more of that sauce, more of that ear candy that people are listening for, right? So the song that we're going to do today is Tsunami by Sammy, but the song is in the key of A. Every time that I teach and every time that I've showcased a song, I'm letting you know that I always associate it with the major key. So they always can use the same formula or format whenever I'm playing, all right? I don't want to try to deviate and give you stuff that doesn't make sense. So I'm always associating it, all of my songs that I teach. Doesn't even matter if the song's also in a minor key or not to a major key. So I can always use the same format and the same formula, all right? With that being said, um, I always teach a number system as well. So if you're not familiar with the number system, I highly suggest that you go to my site, carriescamp.com, K-E-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com where you can start studying those courses to understand and really know about um, the number system and really start to dive into enough theory to make you dangerous, not to where that you become one of those theory snobs. I mean, we're not trying to do that, but enough to make you dangerous so you understand exactly what we're talking about. All right, so this song is in the key of A, right? It starts on the four, which is going to be that, what, D major seven, right? Because I want to try to find the sauce, the things that I try to do is I try to associate, if I can play it down here in this format, try to find it in a nice way that I can play it down here. So instead of me playing this, this version of the D major seven, with that voicing, I'm thinking about when I go to that six, right? It's going to be that F sharp minor seven. I'm going to take my ring finger and play the D in the bass. And the reason why I do it in this particular format, so I can hammer on. And the next chord in the progression is going to be our B minor 7, which is going to be our, our 2. I'm sorry. Yeah, our 2. Then it's going to be our 3, which is going to be that C sharp minor 7. Then our F sharp minor 7. Right? So 4, D minor 7, B minor 7. minor seven right so I want to come down here and play that same movement so so because I'm thinking about I've been doing this for a while I don't want to get in the place of the bass player so I'm not trying to do that I'm not trying to give you that bass I'm just gonna lay out of that bass so I'm gonna start on this note with an A I'm gonna do this movement Slide up to that where the two would be, right? I'm sorry, where the three would be. I'm gonna start with that. Then that six. And I like to do this movement where I go from the six in one spot to find that minor nine of that same chord, right? So that F sharp minor seven. That A triad. And then I'm always showing you where the diminish is between the two and the three. So then again. So slow. Back to the four. So let's do it all in real time. So it'll be like. Right? 
So that's how we're going to do it. So let's play along with the song so I can show you both ways of how we add it to the song, all right? So again, this song is called Tsunami by Sammy. All right, let's jump in. Remember, we're in the key of A, right? So our first chord is that D major 7. I keep my shit. same chord progression because it's not going to change so you can use it in order to loop it right the things that I'm doing just to break it down into like layman's terms I'm taking the chord progression from down here and playing it down here but what I'm doing is I'm changing the voicing slightly so instead of me using the bass notes in order to kind of dictate how I'm playing the chords I'm just using majority of the meat of the chord or an inversion of the chord because I don't want to get in the way of the bass player I want to always start to think that way so that way that Whenever I'm playing in a band or I'm playing with a bass player, then I'm not doing that. That's how we can, as a guitar player, we can stand out in such a way that we make sense. All right, let me stop and pause with the cause right here. If you love the stuff we're doing, please just drop a comment. I definitely want to read through your comments. If you use this kind of inversions or you use this kind of stuff, this ear candy, let me know. Or if it's a new concept to you, let me know. Also, if you want to do an even deeper dive, go to carriescamp.com. That is K-E-R-R-Y-S. K-A-M-P dot com. So, so going back to the lesson, this lesson is really going to offer you a lot of nuggets. Like I said, again, it's just us really focusing on the key points of the song. So playing this D major down here, I start with that bass. Coming down here, changing the voicing a little bit. So all I'm doing, if I think about it, is I come down here and I'm going to that six, which is going to be that F sharp minor seven, right? So I can use my ring finger to do that D in the bass. Then I'm going to go to that five where I do that. So instead of me doing five, it could still technically be the two, but I'm not doing the bass note. I'm not. I'm not doing that B in that. I'm going to go from that A down from the A string. Then I get to go to the six. Go to the two. So. To that F sharp minor seven, then just slide. Then I'm gonna go back to the six. So this is where it gets a little tricky. So from that four, then I'm, I can either do that while I spell it out. You gotta do that in order to make sure you remember how that movement works. Or if you could just, you're, you have it locked in, so. So when I start to diminish, if I'm looking at the neck of my guitar, this is A, right? I know this is two and this is three from the number system. I know in between the two and the three, starting on what? That four string. That's my diminished starts right there, so I can use that as a, like a little cheat reference pl place. So moving again. So I just wanted to show you how you can take a, a progression. It doesn't have to be simple unless you consider it simple. It could be complex, but take a progression, play it in two different positions, changing the voicing of certain chords in order to add the ear sauce, in order to add the ear candy and the sauce.